coastal residents have been heading inland due to the governor's evacuation order. Residents as in humans and pets. Animal shelters along South Carolina's coast have been contacting shelters right here in the Midlands who are stepping up to help out. Our number one goal is to help any animal possible. Lexington County Animal Services is housing 12 cats from the Charleston Animal Society. When they reached out to us, we, we responded quickly. And at Charleston, they had already taken some animals from Florida there. And then they arranged transport and we brought them here on Saturday. Pets Inc. in West Columbia is also opening up their doors. Our philosophy is that we need to help. Together we can do it. So if we are, we are helping the coast one day, maybe we need help from them another day. Right now we have St. Francis from Georgetown. They brought 20 dogs in yesterday. And so we're anticipating helping other shelters throughout Horry County and um, Florida. And we are making preparations to do that now. Pets Inc. does need some help themselves in order to help these animals. They need volunteers to help walk these dogs, as well as a list of items that we will post to our website. For any other information on preparations and hurricane procedures, visit our website at WLTX.com. In Columbia, I'm Emily Carell, News 19, WLTX. Yeah, very important to help our pet shelters. They're definitely taking in animals from the coast, and it's a good time to adopt a furry friend because there's even <laughs> more at Pets Inc. for you to go and look at. But you can't take somebody else's dog, right? And you can't take somebody else's dog, but they cleared out the shelters at the coast and brought oh, the dogs here, so they're, they're shelter so, dogs. Okay. Yeah, so they're up All for right. adoption. All right.